Hi, welcome to Tong Ren. Today we're going to work on scoliosis. Um, a big topic, but let's get started. This is going to be a general approach. So um, if you're tapping along, I love that. If you're not, bring your attention and attention to what we're doing and you'll resonate with it. So let's start with today C1 and C2 on the back um, where the head meets the neck. C1, C2. C1, C2 on the right. Let's pair that with gallbladder 13 on the right. So this is at the forehead by the hairline. And C1, C2 on the left. Gallbladder 13 on the left. This helps to open the neck. So uh, anytime we work on the spine, um, wherever we work on the spine, it's going to affect the spine as a whole. So yeah, that's good. Um, but this combination also helps to bring us into the presence, a mindful presence of the here and now. So let's be present with this work. C1, C2, and gallbladder 13, right and left. And we'll start the clean out. Triple warmer 16, 17. On the right and on the left. And triple warmer 20. On the right and the left. Cleaning out taking out the trash, taking out what's no longer needed so that we have free reign to make things as they need to be. Bring them back to balance. So we're going to uh, go to GV23 on the front midline by the uh, top of the forehead by the hairline. So again, this starts to open the neck. It's a good brain point. Um, helps to, it's right over the prefrontal cortex, so it helps to um, settle that monkey mind a little bit. And we move back to GV, governing vessel 21, the motor cortex. So in scoliosis, we often have uh, muscle tension and balance. Um, now, whether the um, bone misalignment came first or the muscle imbalance came first, uh, chicken and egg, um, for our purposes right now, uh, we're going to work on both ends. And then GV20, the main head office, uh, really making sure that neurological system is up and running. We've gone in to the office. We turned on the lights and we turned on all the machines and got everything going. And GV19, the sensory cortex. So what we feel through the nerves, what we sense. Um, so mostly um, we're talking about discomfort and pain here and regulating that. Sometimes we need to have sensation. Um, other times we have too much. So let's balance that. And we'll come back to C1 again, where the head and the neck meet. So this is the junction between the skull and the spine. So transition points are very important. So let's start to regulate the alignment in the spine by opening up that end. And we'll have large intestine 18 on the kind of front of the neck and stomach 12. So opening up, opening up in the neck, opening to the body from the head through the front side. And we did a lot with the neck. Let's start and to do T1. 
So I'm just going to do while we're right at T1, right in the center of T1 is governing vessel 14. This is a bone point. So we're regulating all the vertebrae, but also we want to give special attention to this bone point, sending that message of this is this is the area we're working in, the area of attention. So C1, T1, T2, thoracic, T3, we're working our way down, T4, so we're in between the scapula right now, T5, T6, T6, um, uh, connects to the diaphragm. So if the um, alignment isn't great, we may um, not be able to take breath the way we need to. Um, so let's get the diaphragm moving and supple. And you'll know your own ouch point. I'm just doing them all. So T7. And we move down to the mid-back, T8, T9, all in alignment, T10, T11, T12. So we're approaching another transition point. So all the thoracic uh, vertebrae are attached to ribs. And while I'm speaking of that, I'm going to add in a little of these kidney points up in the front because they flank the, um, the breastbone here. And that's where all the ribs connect. So I want to make sure the ribs can move and adjust freely. Um, so we're just kind of doing a little opening up from the front. Because I like to do both sides. All right, the transition point from T12 to L1. So L1 is the first lumbar vertebrae. These are the lower back. They don't have any ribs. Um, and they have so much to do with keeping us upright. L1, L2, L2. Let's spend a little time here. This um, point here, strong connection to the kidneys. Kidneys in Chinese medicine have a strong connection to bones. They're uh, deep, so deep energetically in the body. So L2, L3, L4, and L5. So here's another transition point. L5 is the last of the lumbar vertebrae, and we connect to the sacrum. And we have S1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All these points along the sacrum. Balancing how this sacrum interacts with the spine and the pelvis. And we started at S5 is between the sacrum and the coccyx, the little tailbone. So we started out by opening up at the beginning of the spine. We're opening up at the other end of the spine. So kind of like bookends. So all the way down. And we'll just do a quick run through. Yeah. Kind of like combing your hair. Feels good. And we're going to start balancing the body as a whole. And I'm using the hammer a little sideways here. And I'm doing bladder 40 uh, on both sides. Right behind the knees, this point is strong to pull down the energy that's stuck from the spine and let, let the stagnation drain away. So bladder, bladder 40, and I'm going to pull in bladder 62 at the heel on both sides. This is an acupuncture point that 
is um, opening to the spine strongly. And we pair that with an, another adjunct point, adjacent point, small intestine three right here on the side of the hand, another point really strong with the spine as a whole, that whole back midline. So we just make sure the body's getting all the signals and all the frequencies. Okay, and let's come to the front and we want to address the front and we're gonna start balancing the body as we finish up CV 17, conception vessel 17, CV 12 and CV 4, upper, middle, lower um, places in the torso. So we're giving a little attention to all these organs in here um, because everything works all together in the body. And let's come down to Stomach 36 as we finish off. So stomach 36 integrates the body as a whole. Um, really good for stamina. It's a, it's a desert island point. So if you go to a desert island, this is one of your points you want to take with you. Spleen 6. Liver 3. All good circulation in the body. And kidney one, as always, grounding us to the Earth's energies, the Earth's bounty. And we're just going to do a little tiny bit of GV20 again. That kind of um, lightning rod connecting us to heaven and Earth. And we'll finally end with upper, middle, lower dantians, stitching this rich brocade together that we all are. Thank you very much and be well.